In this video, I will show you how to use TidyCall. So TidyCall is a great scheduling software to schedule meetings and appointments, whether they are offline or online. And I'll show you how you can use it completely for free because they do have a free plan available, but they also have a plan where you have a one-time payment of $29, which is also very affordable. But in order to get started with the free plan, simply head over to tidycall.com. Now here you can either enter your email or sign up with Google. I'll just continue with Google. Now then you will see this, so simply click start using. Now here you will see your booking type. So these are the standard ones, 15 minute meeting, 30 minute meeting and 60 minute meeting. Now you will see this one right here has a price. So you can also actually add a price to a specific meeting. Now here you will already see your link. So you will see people can now book the 15 or 30 minute meeting. And that's because this one is not available right now. If I want to turn it on, then I need to upgrade to the paid plan to unlock the payments right there. Now for now, what I recommend you to do to get started is to just delete these ones right here, unless you actually want to be able to have 15 minute meetings. And now whether you have a physical service based business or for example, an agency and you want to book in calls, just click create new booking type. Now here, give it a title. For example, if you do have a barbershop or a nail salon, whatever you are creating it for, just enter the title of the service right here and people will be able to see it. So I'll say cut men's hair. And then you also see you have the link to that. And then here add a description. So for example, washing and cutting men's hair. And then you can add some more descriptions, for example, where it is, although many people will know that, or you can add any instructions or whatever you would like to add right there. Now you can also include a link or a bullet list or something like that. Now for the duration, let's say this will be 20 minutes. Now you can use global availability, but I wouldn't recommend this. So I would just go and turn this off. Now here you can define your week availability. So let's say that you are available Monday until Friday and from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Then you can keep it like that. But if you click add window, for example, then you could have this one be until 1 p.m. and then this one start at 2 p.m. right here. So then you have a break from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. where people cannot book in appointments. Now, for example, if you're also working Saturday morning, then you could say this one until 12 a.m. as well. So just set it up right there. Now you can also add unavailable dates right here. For example, if you're on vacation for a specific period, for example, on this date right here, then you can add that right there, but I'll just remove that one and click create booking type. So now we have created your first service. Now you can share it right here. I'll also show you how you can embed it onto a website later, but for now you just want to go back to your booking types and just create all the booking types that you have. For example, I could also have cut women's hair, then I could have something like dye women's hair, etc. So just add everything right here and just create all of your booking types. So for now, let's assume that these two are all the booking types that I have. Then first of all, you can go and preview it right here. So now you have got women's hair and men's hair. Then people can click book now. And then right here, they can pick a date, for example, the 23rd of September. Then here they can book in a time, for example, 3 p.m. Then they need to enter their name and email, and then they can book in the event. Now next you have some more sections here. So next you have date polls. So you can create a date poll if you want to create that. But for me, that's not necessary. I'll just go to availability. Then here you can just enter your availability again. And also if you're not available on specific dates, just enter that right here and then click save. And then you won't be available at those times. Now, if you do just set this up once, then after you have set up your global availability, you don't need to go and set it up for every single booking. Then in the bookings here, you can see everyone that has booked in and you can see those right here as well. Then they will also be saved as contacts right here so that you can send emails to them and do whatever you want with their email messages and you will just have them as a contact. Now, if you want to embed your booking on a website, then there's a few options. You can either embed a specific appointment type or just your entire overview right here. So the second option you can do by clicking on embed right there. Then here you have some code. Then you just want to create an HTML block on your website and then embed this code. Now, if you want to do the same with, for example, a specific booking, just click embed on that booking and then copy the code and do the same thing. Now you can also embed it in an email if you want. 
So then here you can choose the dates that you want to embed in an email. And then you can click to copy the email schedule right there. So if you want to do it in email, that's also possible. Now, if you want to unlock some extra features, such as the ability to have paid bookings or to get deposits for a booking to decrease your no-show rate, and for example, to integrate with a tool like Zapier so that you can add it to your CRM or whatever else you want to integrate with TidyCall, then you can click on the link in the description that will take you to the AppSumo page right here. And they have a special deal with 80% off where you can do a one-time purchase of $29 and then you will get lifetime access to Tidy Call Premium. So that is very, very affordable. Many of these softwares have a subscription like this every single month. Now you will see they have a 60-day money-back guarantee. Now one downside of Tidy Call, I would say, is that you cannot have multiple staff members. You can only have one staff member in one account. So if you do want to have multiple staff members, then you need to create multiple tidy call accounts. And then wherever you're promoting the links, whether it's on your website or social media, you need to then show that people are booking in on the calendar of a specific staff member. So now you know how to use tidy call. Again, if you want to get the paid plan right here, which is just a lifetime one time fee, then click on the link down in the description. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.